Oh, welcome everyone to Fears to Fathom episode 2. This is Norwood Hitchhike. We've decided to take the long route uh, home to avoid traffic. Let's just pull up here real quick, if I can. And uh, let's have a look at our messages. What do we got? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That's That sucks. It's not so good here either. I think there's people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Thank you, Aiden. And Dad. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got a dad. Uh, I sent Aiden's contact number, I think. And uh, he just says drive safe. Hey. Well, I don't know why we're getting out. We don't need to get out. Let's keep driving. Uh. Oh, shit. This car. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. I feel that. I feel that. I'm having a little trouble here because I'm using a keyboard to drive. And I don't often use a keyboard to drive. So bear with me, folks. Just uh, popped off the radio there, because I'm just not into that song. What's Dad saying? Where did you reach? Leave me alone, Dad. I'm trying to drive. I can honk my horn and everything. This is fantastic. This kind of looks like a... Well, it's your, your standard sort of back route thing, but... Oh, our fuel is low. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Let's pull up here. That's not good. Alright. Can I turn off the car? I don't know if I can. Alright, let's just hop out. We'll pull up real quick. It is... very dark. And this soundtrack is reminding me uh, of something out of Resident Evil. Hey, look, it's my stuff. G to throw. Oh, okay. Do we need anything? I mean, we're out of gas. We should leave our stuff here, I suppose. <laughs> it's popping out of the boot. Ideally. Yeah, look, we can still drive. That's fantastic. Why is everything getting so blurry outside? Is that, is that just me? Is that because I turned the lights off? Yeah, it's just me. I'm just cooked. We're definitely not going as fast as we once were, but hopefully it'll get us where we need to go. Context of the game is we were at a gaming convention with friends. We came home, but there was too much traffic on the normal route, so we've taken a back route. And this is the story of that route and what happens during. If only Dad's actually texted. Where's the thumbs up emoji? Well, it's going to be late when you get back. Hope you're feeling all right. Thanks, Dad. It's really helpful. While I'm trying to drive, looking at my texts. Let's keep the uh, radio going. I'm a bit spooked. I only saw one car go past. Oof. What's going on in here? Oh, fuel station. Hell yeah. Pull up. Nice. Alright. Let's grab some fuel. And uh, we can keep going, hopefully. Or is this shut? Oh, there's a man in there. Oh, we should be fine. Now, American gas stations are different to Australian. So, jeez, I don't know. Are we doing this right? Where's our fuel cap? Maybe I'll just walk in there and ask them for something. Might be the way to go, hey? Hello, anyone home? Aha, there's people in here. This feels pretty safe. Hey, bud. How you going? Ma'am, can I get $10 on pump two? It's beautiful. Well, this is great. Mum's texting as well. Like, it just never ends. You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, people have gone, been going missing down there. Okay, that's never good. The people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. That is a psychotic thing coming from a gentleman who looks like this. Uh, well, thanks for the gas, bud. Appreciate it. I'm... Please don't look at me like that, sir. I'm out of here. Jump. What do you want? Huh? What are you looking at? You heard about the Norwood Valley Monsters. How's your night going? Where are you headed? Um, let's say, how's your night going? Because that's pretty pretty common. He just, he just looked at me and that's it. He just took off. Thanks a lot, pal. Really helpful. And one more thing. 
don't go across the rickety bridge. If you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was raped and murdered there. Good God. Okay. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances pick up a hitchhiker. There's people out there on the road are putting their thumbs out. They ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Alright, seems pretty unhinged. I'm out of here. Good God. Never good seeing people, uh... I reckon he just did something to my car, eh? What was he up to? I reckon he just did something. Uh, okay, mum. I don't know if you're out. Fun shop. We're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? Oh my god, we've got to go back in and get something for Milo. We could get some Milo for Milo. Could be an option. Um. Ooh. <laughs> Let's mess up this guy's store. Uh, where's the dog food at? Not seeing any. Oh, here we go. Is this it? Yo. Come. That'll be five dollars. Let's pay him as well. Cheers, bud. Uh, so we've got the dog food. Dad says whatever. And Aiden says whatever. So let's take this. We'll pop it in the boot. And we'll be sorted. Oop, pop the boot. How do I do that? There we go. Pop that in. Pop that in. Pop that in. That'll do. I don't care if it's sticking out. It'll be fine. Okay, so... Our fuel. It's still got a fuel light. But I'm just going to ignore it because we put, we put money in. And that should be fine. I'm not sure why at first I went on without getting gas. No, I thought I got gas, didn't I? What the heck? Okay, well, I guess... You, I, I don't understand the American system. But we're just going to drive now. We're going to see what happens. Well, I must say, this driving, driving segment is uh, very, very extended. I don't know if it's just going to be endless. Well, the road is looking kind of weird now, so maybe we're finally getting somewhere. Don't stop on the bridge, they say. It's haunted. We're going to drive anyway, and we're going to floor it. And I'm not going to stop. Look at that down there. There's a lot of water. It seems. Do some beeping. Good times to be had. Hopefully a car doesn't come the other way, because I'm kind of driving in the middle here. I'm sure all will be fine, and nothing could possibly go wrong. That's just a bit of radio interference, because we're in the middle of nowhere. Nothing to worry about, folks. Let's keep driving. It does kind of look like we're getting into the middle of nowhere here, though. Like, the road just sort of disappeared and turned into dirt, which is weird. Oh, no, a rabbit. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he's fine. That wasn't psychotic behavior at all. Where the heck are we going? Oh, there's another little bridge thing. No left turn into there. There's this very weird thing about that night. Oh, great. We're going to crash, aren't we? Yep, we crashed. Thought I could drive past those logs, but it wouldn't budge. Classic. What a strange coincidence. But I didn't think much of it at the time. Can I move them? They were heavy. They were magic logs, and they moved themselves out of the way. Oh, got to like hold on to it, do we? Of course, makes more sense. Okay, one out of the way. Let's get this other one out of the way. I can hear something walking around. A bit bloody spooky. Let's ignore it. No one in this life can use their eyes and arms at two different times or at the same time two different ways oh okay 
Is there a car gone, is it? Great. So he did sabotage it. The car wouldn't start back up. Come on. Lovely uh, radio station there. Okay. Well, the car's fried. And just like that, I was stranded out in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. And it doesn't seem like I can fix the car either. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever a bullcrap dust gas station clerk pulled, clerk pulled, but I would be lying if I didn't feel the slightest of unease. Alright, let's start jogging down the track. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life I was told never to take rides from strangers. But at the moment, I had no choice. I mean, is there any chance of us getting... I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Yeah, I think we just walk this way, hey. 10.23pm. Shit. I saw a car nearing. Okay. Did we? Just... Oh. Hey. 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 Slow down, champ. Slow down, champ. Jesus. Pure evil. I don't know how anyone could see another human being stranded like that. She was lucky I moved out of the way. He wasn't stopping. I think I would have died there. It was wacky. 10.43 p.m. Hmm. Perhaps another driver. So should we stay near our car, maybe? Aha. Uh -huh. Here's a person. Hello. Yes, I'm sure this won't be a psychotic person. Hello there. The girl from the gas station. Uh, thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. You think I can get a ride? Or are you heading? Uh, just to the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay, bud. Unfortunately, I, uh... Put my shit all the way back here. Okay, I can grab two things at, at, uh, at once, which is good. Baxter. Oh, okay. Let's hop in. Let's go. Oh, okay, he's not letting me in. What have I done? You need to hurry up. I don't have all day. I'm done. Finally, now hop in and be quick. Jesus, he's fucking grumpy, isn't he? Looks like he's been running stuff over. Yeah, he doesn't look too crazy. So we should be okay. Hopefully he can drive straight. What have I got in here? Just a bag and stuff. So yeah, you come out this way often? Oh, so you won't tell me who you are. Where are you going? Um, I was driving home and that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason, I think he's saying his name. What? My name's Jason. Uh, nice to meet you, Jason. I'm not going to tell him my name yet. He's a bit creepy, this fella. It's not, you should shut him off about him. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. He's looking very serious too. I must say, you are one brave young woman. What is that supposed to mean? You had any clue what happened to your car back there? I don't know. It's never broke down on me like that, like ever before. It's my dad's, it's pretty old. Just no words from him. He's just not going to say a single thing. Creepy man. So, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, I didn't listen to a single word. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. <laughs> yeah, what a fool. 
It was pretty unhinged though, if like you're in some backwoods country town and some guy's spouting about monsters, I mean, you tend to be like, yeah, okay, bud. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are, there are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could be one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them and you don't be bothered. Okay. Noted. This is a very, very long intro sequence to, I feel like, what the game should be. Well, this could be the whole game. I don't know. This still feels like an intro, though. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. That's okay, bud. Don't worry about it. Don't mention it. Can I turn the radio on? Can I start changing things with the gear stick? No? Okay, fine. Okay, massive, um, massive update. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Well, that was great. That's the best outcome, and he's taken off. I saw, I seriously thought he might be the one to, you know, take us to some dodgy place, but it's really nice of him to drop us to a motel. Uh, he does know where we are now, which is bad, but this is kind of good. Not approved for occupancy. Not sure if that's a concern or not. The roadway in. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Oh yeah, look at that. It's the stiff, it's the stiff uh, shoulders. Gal need a room to shack up with her night. How much is it for the room? Um, let's let's see how much it is first. Forty dollars for single. Pay cash only. All right, give him the money. We'll pay. Room number nine, right over there. <laughs> the car, ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. All right, we'll pay that as well. We've picked up the key. Things are looking good. Key number nine up here. Good. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. They always have one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Why would I try and wake them, bud? Hmm? Do I look like the type of person who's going to wake them? Right over there. Room number nine it is. Yeah, alright, champ. Creepy photo. Yeah, you just sit in here and be quiet. Alright, so I bet you he's picked, like, the room directly across from, from him, but... This is one. So, going off that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Maybe across here? Let's go have a look. I've got high hopes. I'm expecting five-star hotel uh, awesomeness. Bro, where you at? Oh, we've got phone service, so maybe we should chill here for a second. What do you mean, reroute? Dad, I might have to stay to a hotel. We didn't write reroute, did we? Reroute? Did we write reroute? Oh gosh, they've got a... They're all yapping about things. Bro, we're out. Your dad's calling me and mum says Holly. Yeah, oh gosh. Everyone's worried. There's nothing to worry about. It was nice and warm inside. Can we lock it? No. Except there was a smell. A type of musky smell you get from old houses. Ah, yes. The classic. We used to fathom, uh... What? There's no mattress. I couldn't have slept there. Yeah, what the heck? Let's check in here for any monsters. Nah, we're all safe. Whoa, fucking Jesus Christ, man. Okay. Oh, fuck, I've glitched out. Uh, good God. Let's go back over to the, <laughs> let's go back over to the reception. There's someone in our room. My God. There was a figure standing there. I don't think it could have been the guy that gave us a lift either. My God, it made me jump. I was not expecting a man to be in there. Yo, excuse me. You're something wrong with your room. Right over there, room number nine it is. What do you mean? Are we going to tell him there's an issue? Let's just talk to him, I guess. What are you doing in there? 
You scared the crap out of me. I should be asking you. Um, I should be asking you, definitely. I'm Tommy. Room service here at Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. The guy at the front desk gave me this room. He he he. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Okay. Really fucking bizarre, to be honest. Shut the door and wait, I guess. Where is our stuff? Or is it in here? Kind of slip there. Is our stuff in here? Oh, God. That's kind of cool. It measures our microphone, so we've got to be quiet later. Buddy, look. Please wait outside. I said, go get your stuff. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Wait, hold on. Is he always smiling? That's a friendly face. That's a friendly guy. You can trust him. Alright. I'll wait outside and get my stuff. Oh, I left it by the bloody entrance. Idiot. This is going to take... I feel like the old... um. Oh, he's waiting. Cool. Hey, bud. Just um, bringing my stuff in. What's up? I had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't worry. That's safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone isn't working. If you need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. He, he, he. But you have a good night. Joe, you are fucking weird, man. Real fucking weird, dude. Okay, well, I brought two of my items. My most important one being the skateboard, of course. TV on. Shit's closed. We're looking good. Let's have a look outside. Joe's out there walking. Was his name Joe? I don't know. I think it was. I'm going to go with Joe. He's made the bed for us, so that's awesome. Let's turn off the TV and let's go to bed. Had to get my stuff in the room before I could sleep, of course. Well, it's been pretty sleeper city. But at least we're here now. Let's have a nap. Thank goodness. What's happening there? Why is it all wobbly? Oh my god, there's someone outside looking in. A lot of foresight, but there was something way off about that place. Sounds like someone's pissing as well. Okay, there's no one in there, so that's good. Let's have a look outside, shall we? Hmm. Oh, hold on. Someone's getting out. Maybe not. Weird. Okay. What was that? It's like a stabbing noise or something. I don't know. Maybe it was just the curtains. Anyways, uh, it all looks in order. We can't interact with any of this. You know what's weird about this? It doesn't have a sink. Oh, it sinks out here, of course. Okay, well, um, can we turn the lights off? I feel like that's beneficial. Everything else looks normal out there. Let's go back to bed. I didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. All right, let's make a coffee. Oh, here we go. Here's the coffee machine. Bloody hell, it took long enough. All right, what do we want? Espresso. Bit of everything. Although many of them are off limits. I'm going to go with the cappuccino. No, let's go espresso. Seems more like it'll wake us up better. Let's do it. Someone's still listening to their TV in this room. Consume. Cool. Well, that'll help me stay awake. And we're, we've gone to black. I don't know what's happened.
Great. All of my controls are backwards. I have to I have to walk backwards to go forwards. Go with my mouse I have to go right to go left. Oh my gosh. We've been drugged badly. Dad? Well, he said something, but I can't even figure it out. I'll do my best to navigate like this. Number nine. Oh dear. Let's check the bathroom real quick. Okay, bathroom looks safe. Shut the door. Someone's drugged the coffee for sure. Let's hit the bed. 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. Was the phone really ringing? I mean, we've been, like, drugged, so... Hello? No one there? Sounds like someone's in the, uh... Bathroom. Turn that off. Is there someone in here? Oh my god! Fucking bastard. Thank you, game. That was amazing. I was sedated. We're back. I had to auto-save and, and go back to where we were. Oh! So that time I could see someone go into the cupboard. Shit. Okay. Oh, they packed all my gear up. I still can't see my texts. So what's the go? Do I just leave? I'm thinking we get out. Didn't feel safe going out. Lock myself in the bathroom? Might be an idea. Okay, oh. There's noises happening. Wait a minute or two. Things are a bit weird with interactions. I, I couldn't like close it properly, but I think we're good. Let's open this up now. He's still in there. Get my skateboard? No, can't like smack him with it. Can't seem to use the phone. What's up with that? Let's turn on the uh, telly. All right, we're going back to bed. Apparently, that's the option. Very, very strange. Very strange. All we can do is hop back up. Someone at the door? Who is it? Joe from front desk, open the door. Uh, let's open the door. Hey, bud. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that... Why are your eyes all red? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? No, sir. We don't have no coffee machine here. <laughs> well, that's not good. It's right over there. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've had enough of you crazy goons over here. Lunch. I thought we'd have a sober guest, but I guess it's your crazy. I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Let's lead Joe. We won't lead him to the bloody front. Uh, the the guy in the the room. But where's Joe going? He's coming with us. Bet you it's gone. Classic. And it's gone. 
It was here, Joe, I swear. Joe's taking his time to get over to us. Here he is. I swear to God, it was right here. I said go back now. You're a bit of an asshole, you know that? Do you not hear me? I said go back to the room and don't get out. Check the table by the telly. Alright, mate. You know what? You just made an enemy for life. Why did he say check the table by the telly? Is he trying to help me out and he's being low key about it? He seems very on edge. Check the table by the telly. Is there a gun? Oh, just pills. Requires water. Alright. To the sink, folks. Oh, he's gone. Interesting. Pretty sure it's very, 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 very illegal to give someone, uh, like, just pills like this. Sorry, I don't think it is. I know it is. That's insane. Like, yeah, I've just left some pills in there for you. Take them. And you will be sedated. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go back to bed. Let's have a crouch. Have a look. Seems somewhat normal. Back to Beddington. We aren't supposed to go to bed yet. Turn. Oh! Someone just took a photo. Let's go have a look. Didn't feel safe going out. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm watching you, punk. Eh? Oh, dear God. Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Let's not do anything. Guy's a manic madman. I know you're in there. Well, obviously, I just talked to you. Try the phone. No. I don't know what he's doing. Something to the door. I'm just going to hide in here for safety. Alright, fine. He doesn't get done for knocking on fucking doors, does he? Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. It doesn't fucking matter, mate. Please go away or I'm calling the cops. Ready, lady. Come on. Oh, shit. Alright, back in here. Phone doesn't work, that's right. Oh my god, he's inside. It's fucking crazy. This gun's fucking lost the plot. What the fuck is he doing? He got fucking, he got fucking, sh boom! Finally. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or drug ring or possibly something even worse. 
When we arrived at the car safely after what felt like a year, I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. It's really more just like a dodgy little hotel, isn't it? Like, that's just... doesn't even seem culty at all. It just seems like some psycho at a bloody dodgy old creepy small town hotel. But it's time for our comment of the week, and that comes from Tanya Janasek. And she says, me like eyeball nom nom I disappears oh did I what it sees baby thing can I quit can I quit and that concludes our comment of the week segment for this week we hope to see you again next week thank you everyone for watching I didn't like that one as much as the first one I much preferred the first one but that was still interesting uh, if you liked it hit like subscribe if you want to see more we'll be playing through the next uh, few in the next a week or so. Till then, guys. Hope you're having lovely weeks, and I'll see you next time.